In 1987, Karen Shirk was struggling through a master's degree in social work at the University of Cincinnati. I was quite exhausted most of the time, but my peers were too, so I kind of chalked it off to that for a while. But it wasn't normal fatigue. Karen suddenly became very ill. I went into respiratory arrest, and it hit really hard and really fast. I pretty much went from doing everything to spending probably 90% of my days in the hospital. Doctors were baffled by her condition. After seven years, Karen was finally diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, a rare neuromuscular disorder causing severe muscle weakness. In Karen's case, it included the muscles she used for breathing. Karen felt helpless. She thought if she had a service dog, perhaps her quality of life might improve. That was my friend's suggestion, that I get a service dog because I was so depressed. Karen's father, David Shirk, okay. knew how much Karen valued her independence. If she could get a service dog, at least she could get a little mobility, a little self-reliance back. I did send an application for a service dog. Did you receive it? Yes, I am on a ventilator, but only at night. Unfortunately, Karen was rejected by every agency she approached. Thanks. Most of the uh, agencies that provide service dogs mm -hmm. simply will not give a service dog to a person who's on the ventilator. They don't believe they can handle them. Uh, here, try this agency. Karen's friends suggested she get a dog anyway for companionship. They went to look at a German Shepherd advertised in the local paper. From the minute, actually, that I saw him and knew that I wanted to bring him home, I say at that minute that my spirit began to heal. She named her new dog Ben. Good Ben, good Ben, get the fridge, get the fridge. And Karen soon realized she could train Ben herself. Get it. Get it. Good Ben. Good Ben. From the minute I saw him, I wanted to live. The changes were really dramatic. She had something, a goal, that uh, if she could train the dog, maybe she could get her life back together. There was a real bond that developed between her and Ben. And uh, as she trained and Ben trained, the bond got stronger. And Karen just took on almost a new life. Karen started therapeutic riding to strengthen her muscles. She found riding dramatically improved her health. She loved it so much that she got her own horse, Micah. Micah was like Ben. The animals that have come into my life, I kind of see as spirit guides. And Micah became the second spirit guide or angel to enter my life, which brought life back to me. But in 1999, Karen faced a major setback. It would require open-heart surgery and would almost kill her. In 1987, a rare neuromuscular disorder so incapacitated Karen Shirk that no agency would give her a service dog. She fell into a severe depression until she adopted Ben and began to train him herself. Her life began to turn around. Ben, oh, it's so good to be home. How you doing, buddy? Hey. Do you need anything else right now, Karen? No, I'm fine. I'm pretty tired. I'll probably be asleep in no time. Besides, Ben's here. Hey, Ben. Hey. It was my first night home, and I came home on a morphine pump. Um, 
which is a little gadget that delivers morphine into a central line at, on a regular basis.